the James Webb Telescope will show images of the possibly habitable Proxima Centauri b. With this news in mind, one can help but think again that we are not alone in the universe, and our neighbors are very close by cosmic standards. What we will talk about today will reaffirm these thoughts. Today's story is about the humanity's guide to deep space and our farthest pair of eyes in the universe, the James Webb Telescope. The information that comes from it reveals the true structure of deep space. It gives us a chance to understand how our universe originated and also brings us closer to interstellar communication with our neighbors from the nearest planets, the Alpha Centauri system. What do we know about its mission? The James Webb Telescope is a high-tech space telescope of the core system, the operational principle of which is based on infrared astronomy. The launch of this device into outer space was carried out jointly with NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. This telescope allows you to receive data from deep space, which the well-known Hubble telescope, for example, is no longer able to provide due to its less advanced build. Also in favor of this modern telescope is the fact that it is not located in near-Earth orbit, unlike the Hubble telescope, but instead moves in a solar orbit. The orbit of the Hubble telescope is only 340 miles above the Earth's surface, while the Webb telescope is 930,000 miles away from Earth's orbit. This is almost four times farther than, say, the Moon's orbit, 250,000 miles. The location of the Webb telescope allows it to bypass temperature fluctuations of all three celestial bodies, the Sun, the Moon, and Earth, and maintain its stable temperature at around negative 370 degrees Fahrenheit. This is especially important precisely because the operational principle of the telescope is based on capturing infrared radiation. This means that excessive heat and temperature fluctuations would interfere with its function. Also, the location of the telescope in outer space allows it to receive power 7 to 10 times greater than it would have while staying on Earth. The Webb Telescope is truly a huge device for its class. Its data collection surface area is 273 square feet, and its diameter is 21 feet. The focal length of the device is 431 feet. These particular dimensions allow it to obtain spectacular and extremely informative images of huge space panoramas. Some of these images are already available to the public. The telescope's mission turned out to be extremely productive. At 12.20 p.m. on December 25, 2021, an Ariane 5 rocket manufactured by Ariane Space took the Webb telescope from the Kourou Cosmodrome in France from the Earth into the space. Less than half an hour later, the telescope was released from the upper stage of the rocket. And then off it went towards the goal, the L2 point, or the Lagrange point. What's interesting is that the telescope passed a quarter of the way and reached the Moon in just three days while the rest of the way was, for the most part, a slowdown. This principle is used in order to enter the planned orbit smoothly, slowing down and avoiding the risk of moving too close to the Sun. It took only two weeks to activate the power system, deploy the functional parts of the telescope and other routine operations, after which it reached the Lagrange point and entered the planned orbit around the Sun. The telescope communicates with the Earth through three high-power antennas of the Deep Space Network system. They are located in Australia, Spain, and California. This communication system allows you to contact the telescope twice a day and upload command operations to it, as well as receive various types of data from it. Once a week, scientists from the observatory send a set of commands for execution by the telescope for the next seven days, and then they make adjustments on a daily basis if the need arises. So, the Webb telescope's path to orbit took only 30 days after which the active phase of its work began. On July 11, 2022, U.S. President Joe Biden proudly presented the first image from the telescope to the public, ready for exclusive publication. It was called the first deep web field, and it was truly an amazing thing to behold. However, it was only part of the presentation of the results of the telescope. On July 12, 2022, at 2.30 p.m., during the broadcast from the NASA Space Center in Maryland, Full-color images of other spectroscopies performed using the telescope's infrared reception powers were published. There was a selection of huge panoramic pictures that were also presented to the world. 
They struck everyone's imagination with their beauty. The telescope was able to capture images of billions of twinkling stars, nebulae, traces of dead stars and star systems that were only starting to take their form. Experts from NASA and the Canadian and European agencies selected the following images in particular. Number 1. The Kiel Nebula A young section of the star field that is only starting to take shape, located 8500 light-years away from Earth. Number 2. An image of the planet WASP-96b, a gas giant located 1120 light-years from Earth. By the way, in addition to the image, the telescope was also able to give a detailed spectral analysis of the planet's atmosphere and confirm the presence of gaseous water on it. Number 3. Southern Ring Nebula Clouds and dust scattered from a dead star 2500 light-years away from Earth. Number 4. Stefan's Quintet An image of a system of four galaxies in the Pegasus constellation. Huge clouds of gas and dust present there are in motion and form the beginnings of new stars. Number 5. A huge cluster of galaxies in the constellation of the Flying Fish, which was previously introduced by President Biden, who called it the first deep web field. So, what is this telescope's promise in terms of information about closer neighbors? First, let's take a look at what we already know about these neighbors. The closest star system to us is the Alpha Centauri system. It is 4.3 light years away and consists of three components. Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. The first two stars seem to be a single light source from afar, and the third is significantly removed from them. The largest star of the three is Alpha Centauri A. It is 8% heavier than the Sun, it emits one and a half times more energy, and so far there have been no definitive traces of any planets being present around it. There is an assumption based on observations from February 2021 that there may be a planet near Alpha Centauri A that may be 9 to 35 times heavier than the Earth. According to the same assumptions, it would also be 3.3 to 7 times its radius. But so far, there is no confirmation that these data are correct. So, this is only a hypothesis. Alpha Centauri B, which is also called Tolyman, is smaller than its neighbor. It is 10% smaller than the Sun, has an orange color, and emits half as much light as the Sun. Also, no one has found planets around it. In 2021, after four years of observations, there was a hypothesis that one planet does orbit Alpha Centauri b, but it was later found to be a computational error. The second star in the system is quite aggressive, and it often throws out long prominences from its surface. What follows is that even hypothetical planets near the star could have already been destroyed by it. But the main point of interest to us is the third star in the system, Proxima Centauri. As the name suggests, this one is the closest to the solar system. Right now, its distance to us is about 4.25 light years. According to scientists, in the cosmically not so distant future, in about 267,000 years, it will be three light years away from the Sun. This star is a red dwarf, with a mass of about 12% of the Sun and its size is seven times smaller than the Sun. It is quite dim and emits only 0.17% as much light as the Sun. However, do not be deceived by these modest characteristics. It is entirely possible that there is a planet orbiting this star, and the planet might potentially show that there is life in the Alpha Centauri system. Proxima Centauri b or Alpha Centauri cb are two names of a planet whose existence in the Proxima Centauri system has already been confirmed. It was discovered on August 24, 2016, by the staff of the European Southern Observatory. In 2020, the VLT telescope confirmed its existence. This is an exoplanet with a mass of 1.07 of that of Earth, located in the habitable zone, which is an especially important note. This means that the distance between Proxima Centauri b and this planet gives us reason to believe that life could have appeared on it. Moreover, the presence of an atmosphere on this planet has been confirmed. However, there is a catch. Ed Turner, a professor at Princeton University, correctly noted that even the presence of an atmosphere does not in itself guarantee the existence of life on the planet. And there are a number of counter-arguments that confirm Professor Turner's statement. First, Proxima Centauri b is located at a peculiar angle to the star. 
it has always turned to the star with one side. Despite the low power indicators of the star, the fact that the planet is bombarded with UV light and hit with periodic emissions of star matter in the form of prominences can lead to significant damage to both the atmosphere and the very structure of the planet, which will lead to creating extremely unfavorable conditions on it. In response to this argument, one can counter with the fact that the shadow side of the planet has not been yet studied, and the stability of temperature there might help the development of life on it. Secondly, so far, there are no obvious signs of the presence of any centers of civilization on Proxima Centauri b. For example, artificial light from any of its sources on the planet. But this is where the Webb telescope will come into play. In the summer of 2022, scientists involved in the project announced that the telescope would be able to determine the artificial nature of radiation if it comes from the surface of the planet. So. It is the work of the powerful and productive Webb telescope that we can count on in revealing the secrets of this planet in the near future. Of course, there are other arguments against the existence of life on Proxima Centauri b. For example, scientists have not yet been able to find out whether the planet has a sufficiently powerful magnetic field to repel blows from an aggressive luminary that is Proxima Centauri. At the same time, its complete absence has not been confirmed either. If proof is found that such a field exists, and it is close to the characteristics to that of the Earth, there is a chance that even the aggressive influence of the star will not be so destructive, and life can be detected on Proxima Centauri b. By the way, another hypothetical planet with the radius of 0.25 to that of Earth was later discovered in the same system, but its habitability is now excluded. So what can we expect from the work of the Webb Telescope and other scientific initiatives in the search for life outside the Earth? On April 12, 2016, the 55th anniversary of man's flight into space, the Breakthrough Starshot project was announced. This project is even more ambitious than the Webb Telescope project. The program involves launching many independent microscopic instruments into deep space, and in particular, into the Alpha Centauri system. After their launch into space, they are supposed to be combined into a whole system and sent on a distant space journey at a speed of about 20% of the speed of light. The resulting system will be launched by a high-power laser from Earth and will be able to take on stellar energy as well. Powering the spacecraft in this way has already been called the solar sail technology. According to the program plan, the device assembled from these smaller components will be near Proxima Centauri b at the same distance as the Earth is from the Sun, and its receiving ability will be 300 kilometers strong in the radius of the telescope. In other words, it will help to paint a gigantic and incredibly complete picture of all the objects studied, and will definitely reveal to us, together with the observations of the Webb telescope, the truth about whether there is life on Proxima Centauri b. Having left our system at 20% of the speed of light, Breakthrough Starshot will arrive in the Alpha Centauri system in 20 years, and then, another five years later, we will be delivered the data it gathers in the system. By cosmic standards, this is extremely fast. Sounds like something out of science fiction, doesn't it? Perhaps it does. However, June of 2017 marked the first successful launch of the prototypes for the program. These are nanoprobes about 1.5 by 1.5 inches in size. Each of the probes weighs about a gram and contains a solar panel, a microprocessor, a sensor, and a communication system. Signals from it are already being received. This means that soon we will receive not only beautiful panoramic views and accurate spectral data from the James Webb Telescope, but also we will probably take a very good look at exactly what is happening on the shadow side of Proxima Centauri b. <laughs>